In this video, I am going to talk about something called ADHD, which stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It might sound like a big name, but don't worry, I will try and explain it in a way that makes sense. Imagine you have a really busy TV in your head. It's like you have lots of different shows playing all at once, and it can be tricky to focus on just one thing. That's what it can be like for people with ADHD. They have a hard time paying attention, controlling their impulses, and staying focused on one task. You know how sometimes you might have a favorite TV show, but then you see something else exciting on another channel and you want to switch. Well, people with ADHD might feel like that a lot. It's like their brain wants to jump from one thing to another, and that can make it hard to stick with one activity. There are some things that can show us someone might have ADHD. They might have a short attention span, meaning it's tough for them to focus on something for a long time. They might also make small mistakes because their busy brain makes it hard to be careful. Sometimes they might seem forgetful and lose things easily. And you might notice that they have trouble listening or following instructions because their brain is so busy. They might be constantly moving or fidgeting. That's another sign of ADHD. And sometimes, people with ADHD might do things without thinking, like blurting out answers or not waiting their turn. It is not that they are trying to be naughty or misbehave. Often they cannot control it. They will understand the expectations for them, but they struggle to remember these expectations and behave in the correct way. This can be very frustrating for them. On the other hand, someone with ADHD can also show what is called hyperfocus. This is where they zero in intensely on an interesting project or activity for hours at a time. People who experience hyperfocus often become so engrossed they block out the world around them. They can be so engrossed that they forget to eat, drink or go to the toilet. Unless something or someone interrupts, hours drift by as important tasks and relationships will fall by the wayside. People with ADHD can also be very creative and think about problems and tasks in unique ways. There are a number of ways to help people with ADHD and to be an ally. Sometimes, doctors might give people with ADHD medication that helps their brain focus better and be less impulsive. It's important to know that these medicines don't cure ADHD, but they can make it easier for the person to concentrate, learn new things, and feel calmer. Therapy can also be really helpful. Think of it like a coach for their brain. They can learn strategies to manage their busy thoughts, stay organized, and finish tasks. Sometimes, a combination of both medicine and therapy works best. Now, let's talk about how we can be good friends to someone with ADHD. First, it's important to be patient and understanding. Remember, they are not trying to be distracted or fidgety their brain works a little differently. It's like cheering them on instead of getting frustrated. It is about helping them rather than winding them up to get a reaction. You can also separate the symptoms from the diagnosis. This means not defining them by their ADHD, but seeing the awesome person they are beyond it. Help them with routines and reminders. Maybe you can remind them about homework or chores. And being a buddy is super cool. Check in with them, ask how their day is going, and include them in fun activities. To sum it up, ADHD is when someone's brain is like a busy TV, and it makes it hard for them to pay attention, control impulses, and stay focused. They might fidget a lot, act without thinking, and have trouble waiting their turn. But with the right support like medicine and therapy, they can learn to manage it better. And as their friend, you can be patient, understanding, and helpful and just accept them for who they are. 